can all use an extra pasta dish in our repertoire and this is my pasta with garlic crumbs, lemon and ricotta. I'm going to jump straight in and get it going. I've got a really big saucepan of boiling water. I need to add a generous sprinkle of salt first though. And then in with my whole wheat pasta. So we just need to boil the pasta until it's al dente or just nice and soft. And then we're going to throw all the remaining ingredients in here, cook them all up. One dish, two people, super easy. So al dente means to the tooth. So when I squeeze it, you'll see that it's just firm enough. And sometimes you can just see inside a tiny little firmer core. So that to me is ready to go. Drain the pasta. And then I'm just going to leave that there because I'm going to be super quick to finish off our tasty weeknight dish. Secret to this dish is a really robust extra virgin olive oil to carry all the big flavors through the pasta. Generous amount of olive oil so it coats the pasta, crisps up our sourdough crumbs. Then in with our garlic, sliced garlic for maximum punch. Give that a little stir around Get that garlic flavor going through the oil. In with our breadcrumbs. I've just got some fresh sourdough breadcrumbs. They don't have to be dried. I actually prefer to use just soft breadcrumb that I've just torn up with my hands. Just toss those crumbs around in that garlic olive oil so they're nicely coated, so they crisp up nice and crunchy. It's the secret to this dish. Big flavors, big textures. Just like the garlic, which was sliced, so it has that big burst of flavor, I'm going to shred the lemon rind into here. Instead of finally, I'm using my zester just to pull the lemon peel where all the flavor is. Next, anchovies or the capers, whichever you like. Just give that a mix around. It's really easy from here on in. In with the pasta, give that a little shake. Don't want my breadcrumbs to go soggy. Stir it around. The quickest, most well flavored pasta you'll ever make. That, got some parsley leaves. I'm just gonna tear them up. As I said, this is all about big, bold flavors, so no finely chopping here. Got some beautiful peppery rocket leaves. Really nice contrast against the pasta. Beautiful. Now as a food stylist, I've only ever had one trick. People ask me about it all the time. And I have one trick only. Let me move this out of the way. Because when you have one trick, we need to give it some room. It's my pasta twirl. And to make sure it stands up and it doesn't stay all flat in the bowl, put it in the bowl and you turn the bowl or you can turn the tongs if you're a thrill seeker. And look at that, the pasta stands up. Attitude and altitude. I'm just gonna finish this off with a scoop of beautiful creamy fresh ricotta. Pop that on the side. And the big finish. A bit of parmesan over the top. Ah. What does that look? How amazing is that? Weeknight dinner, huge flavors, cooked in absolutely no time. Yum. <laughs>